look that drives a girl wild. I've got the move that really move them. I think I'm cute. The following contest is a no disqualification man. Coming down the aisle the from San Antonio, Texas, weighing 227 pounds, the heartbreak kid, Sean Michael. Boy. I'm not your boy toy. I'm just a sexy boy. I'm not your boy toy. I make him hot. I make him shiver. Their knees get weak Whenever I was round They see me Okay, what is going on everybody? This is Enigma here, and I'm back today with another video as I'm doing some WWE Legends WrestleMania gameplay. And I got a lot to go over here. This is an update. This is, I have not done this before, this is my thoughts on WWE 13, and what's going on with ROV and everything else. So let's just get right on into it. Um, first off, I'm sorry for lack of videos as of late. Been working on ROV, which we finally got Ultimate Revelations up, that was great. We had a good time with that, and uh, that's pretty much it for there. I just barely went back to school two weeks ago, um, so I've been putting a lot of time into that already, and hanging with, out with some people, so I'm definitely uh, doing a lot already, so I apologize for the lack of videos, but you know, when I do come out with one, I hope you guys uh, watch and enjoy, so the reason that I am playing WWE Legends, and uh, of course recorded it, is because one of the subjects I wanted to talk about that nobody has heard me talk about, really, unless you talk to me in a party and stuff like that, is WWE 13. Now, I really love people, a lot of people do not like this game, but I really love the control scheme for this game. It is just, I like the way this game is played off, I like the moves you can do in this game. I like the transitions you can have. I just like the whole way it's put together, and of course it features if you had the game at the time, which I did. You can import your WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2009 data. So you can do Superstars vs. Legends, Legends vs. Legends, Superstars vs. Superstars, etc. So, I'm just doing a good old Shawn Michaels vs. Brett the Hitman Heart match. The Heartbreak Kid Shawn Michaels vs. Brett the Hitman Heart match. Ooh! Yes, I am playing as the Heartbreak Kid myself, Shawn Michaels. Now we know these two had a very heated rivalry in the past years. In which the Montreal Screwjob was infamously made. Well, I'm not here to talk about that. So WWE 13. So far, I will admit it looks good. I do like the character models. They do look a lot better, like they said they would. Uh, some of the Attitude Era stuff doesn't really impress me because they I feel as if they got a little lazy on it. And the censoring is really stupid, in my opinion. I'm sorry. I know WWE's PG, but they've never really done that for a WWE wrestling game. So in my opinion, that's, it sort of takes the value away from it for me, because I like the Attitude Era stuff, and of course, you know, as do most people, seeing Stone Cold flip the bird, uh, Road Dog, and Mr. Ass, and I heard most of that censored, I didn't really see the Mr. Ass part, but part of that censored, I'm not sure, but I think that's really stupid, because in my opinion, it's just taking value away from the game, but either way, I do, yes, I do plan on getting the game. As, honestly, I don't think I was thinking about getting it, but I'm, we're still going to do ROV, so that's the only reason I'm going to get it, to be completely honest. 
of course I'll make my call and everything else like that and test the game out as well everybody and see right here sorry to cut out of that conversation I like the, this right here that you can do in WWE Legends it just looks so good I wish that they could implement stuff like that in the uh, WWE 13 and maybe they will maybe they won't I've heard a lot of stuff that create a championships bag that's going to be really good for leagues e feds clans whatever you want to say um create an arena is got more features to it you can actually create the whole arena instead of just the ring side area we'll see so that will definitely be interesting to see it of course it's not going to be online but people still i'm sure people still make them have fun with them for people that do offline e feds leagues whatever you want to call it um what else do they got that's new and interesting uh, the story mode is definitely going to be different. They got added to error mode, which is sort of like, I guess what you could say they had in this game. It wasn't added to error mode, but it was Legends mode, and you know, you could relive matches, rewrite them, redefine them, whatever you want to do. And ooh, you had to do certain objectives and matches to make them look identical to the matches that happened. Probably actually happened, and that's what they're doing in WWE 14. That you have objective-based matches. And you gotta perform them off to make the match look like what really happened during that real match. So that'll be interesting. I, I played that in Legends, so I definitely am certain know what to do there. Oh, someone's snapping off a beautiful hurricane on the butt. Either way, I do plan on getting 13, testing it out. I will be uploading videos uh, as soon as possible. Probably the first video you guys will see from me. WWE 13 will be in the after makes his debut, of course, WWE 13. Uh, I'm going to probably take a little while longer on it because, for one, Matt Walker, not many people have seen him, but uh, I do have a version that has paint tool tattoos and everything else because I honestly, I don't really like Matt Walker's current tattoos and all that, but it was because of paint tool issues, so I definitely want to do a paint tool tattoo version of Matt Walker if the servers take a crap again, then I don't know. I'll try and make tattoos similar to what my paint tool tattoos look like. I don't know if that'll be easy or hard or difficult or whatever, but we'll work through it. But hopefully the servers don't. WWE 12 servers have been really good lately. So I really do hope that they really keep up to their word and that WWE 13 servers will be better. I do think it's rather ridiculous that WWE 12, they said that they would be fixing the servers and of course they wait till the game's almost done with. So they assure people that play it mostly for online will of course buy the game because they'll say oh the servers are working better so and I hope that's the truth but I really think that they were just lazy about 12 and didn't want to get those servers up and running I really don't think they were working 24 7 or they would have had it done a lot so but yeah um, let's see so all these stuff we got ultimate revelations done I'm not gonna lie it's sort of around this time of year last year that I decided to close are we only due to the fact that we had lack of roster, and I'm going to lie, pretty straightforward for those of you that know I'll be in HLV, whatever. Uh, quite a few roster members quit, and I think it was rather uh, disrespectful on their parts. They were just in the ROV till something, I guess, better came back. I'm not going to say we're the best league, we fed, whatever, but I definitely think, uh, I, d I don't think we're horrible, I, what I should say. They were mediocre. All well, my editing skills are not that good. It takes me a month to put up a show. We had two CPVs in a year, mostly on my part because I was mostly editing the shows. And Dutchin was doing it and he could get them up fast. And I will admit, for those of you that are in all of you and do watch this video, it'll probably be a little slow going, but I hope to get out maybe at least four or five, see if I can take, step my game up and get out four or five CPVs. That'd be nice. So uh, I definitely see some good things for ROV and WWE 13. We're definitely going to pick up the pace there. We really cool if we're going to create a championship. I don't know if we're going to use them or if we're just going to stick to what we've got because those belts will all be in the game because we use the, I guess you could say the Attitude Era belts anyway because we use the Attitude Era, WWF Championship, and uh, Hardcore Championship, and the European if we decide to bring that back, if we get more roster, and whatever we decide to do if we get a tag team division going more. I do assume I would use old style belts. I hate this. A lot of people call them the penny belts. I agree 100%. I do not like them. I do not like the style. So if we need a tag team division going, that's definitely uh, we'll be looking into that and seeing if they got the old school Attitude Era WWF Tag Team Championships. So or if not, they usually got the World Tag Team and WWE Tag Team Championship belts in the game. So we'll see about that. Or in worst case scenario, we'll make some, which we might do anyway, depending on how 
create a title is if it's like 07, I could almost assure that we're going to create a championship. So, but I would hope that it would stay that way for WWE 14 because it's like really stupid. Oh yeah, we got these nice uh, created belts, and we got to take them away. So, but yeah, I definitely think it was smart for them to put create a championship back in. People have been wanting that. Uh, I definitely want to see how the like, quit match works. If it works like here comes the pain and you gotta literally take pick up the microphone and go uh almost like a, a sharp kid. Oh, I can't even think of the word. I'm sorry. Like ground and pound on your opponent, but instead of hitting them you put the mic over them and you say I quit if they're damaged enough. If it's that type of system, I definitely think you can work some great I quit matches, so that'll be interesting to see as well. I hope that that'll be fun. Um, I don't really know much more about all the stuff they've added. That's pretty much the gist of what I know. I've been watching the entrance videos, and that's about it. That's another thing that just irritates me. I know a lot of people agree, a lot of disagree. I don't care if you're so called promoting WWE 13. People are just uploading these videos for views, especially partners. So, I don't even watch my videos anyway, but I don't care if they did and they heard me, because I'm just saying the truth. I don't care if you're helping promote WWE 13, you know what you're doing, you want to get views and you want to get paid for it, and what a better way than WWE 13, because everybody's excited for that. But, just as much as WWE 12 had about the same amount of momentum going into it, and then we know what happened there, so I really hope that doesn't happen in WWE 13. I really hope it's a good game, and we can all have fun and everything else. I can't wait to hopefully entertain you guys and put on some amazing matches. Now for those of you that do watch my videos personally, you know what ROV is, um, I ain't gonna lie, we are gonna be scouting talent for WWE 13, uh, I'm not sure how we go about it, I almost wanna take the, uh, like, the professional way about it, and I know some people have done it, if you're a wrestler, you're gonna fill out your, uh, application and everything else, but I'm not sure, but either way, um, I've had a lot of people that get mad at me because I deny them for ROV. And I'm sorry, but the way we take all we know is we entertain, just like wrestlers do. We put on matches. We're not here to. We're usually not here to win. I'll be completely honest. Uh, usually we got the. Well, not usually, but we got determined winners when we need it. I mean, we don't lie about all that. So. And I, I heard some rumors that uh, in 13, uh, we will have a world title tournament, as y'all saw. As Zach Vengeance is the RV world champion. So, but then again, that's just a room. I'm not positive. I don't know what the GM, general manager of House Hard Quick Castle do. So we'll definitely have to see, and I can't wait. We are starting to work on week 12, hopefully, this weekend. I would say I am currently silver right now. I'm doing time. I'm getting some gold. I'm uh, pretty broken. I'm going to lie. I'm using it in school and lunch and all that and hanging out. So I'm pretty broken at the moment, but that's okay. I will get gold one way or another. So. We'll definitely start recording. We are going to have week 12 on WWE 12, then week 13 on WWE 13. Funny, right? And hopefully we'll have WWE, uh, week 14 of House of Hardcore, and then straight into our next CPV. So hopefully this will all be fun, and ooh, we'll have some good times. And WWE 13 will be bigger and better for all. We, we hope to improve every year. Um, I will admit, our superstar base is really good. I like most oh, people man, in RLV. I don't even know why I do it like them or they I wouldn't want them in. So hopefully in uh, 13 we just get more people and it gets popping off and we do bigger and better things. And once again guys this is the Lemon Enigma. Just bringing you guys an update talking about mostly 13 and WWE 13 and RLV and of course WWE Legends. Ooh sweet chin music. Was it on the dime right in the chin of Bret Hart, and that's gotta be it for Bret Hart. One, two, no! Oh my god, Bret Hart's kicked out again. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. This video is coming to a close, so thank you guys for watching. You can feel free to leave your comments down in the comment section below of the video. Tell me your thoughts on 13. If you're in RV, your thoughts on on RV. If you watch RV, your thoughts on RV. And pretty much anything else. What do you guys think about WWE Legends of WrestleMania? I really think it's a fun game. I enjoy playing it. So, yeah. Uh, Bret Hart was left in the short shooting. We got it on Shawn Michaels. Even though he had two super kicks and should have won. But that's how the dice are rolled. So, once again, guys, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. This is the Enigma. Hope to bring you guys more videos in the future. But until then, and peace out, guys. I will talk to y'all later. It's all you can do. And that's exactly what we saw here tonight. What a match.